Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are an old subscriber, thank you so much for sticking around. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for clicking that subscribe button and showing your girls some support. I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, today's video is about what I did in the gym. I worked my legs and my shoulders today and I put the camera on and decided to get some clips. They're not the greatest. <laughs> my husband wasn't there. Um, he gets the best, the best clips for you guys. But um, whatever I was able to put together, I think you guys can actually learn from the content. So stick around. I'm going to talk to you about my leg routine, what I'm doing for cardio. And um, that's it. <laughs> also, I am about three days shy from being four weeks out from my first show of the year. I have decided to do a natural bodybuilding show because I am a natural bodybuilder and that is by the Naturally Fit Federation so I'm really excited about that. I have some friends um, competing as well, guy friends, they're mutual friends and so my hubby and I are going to go support them and likewise they're going to support me at the show and I'll definitely get you guys some footage. I know you have been asking, am I going to vlog? Of course I'm going to vlog, <laughs> you know I'm going to vlog. Um, I'm not a big vlogger. I, you know, I just don't think it's necessary to always show you every aspect of my life every day. Um, and there are tons of YouTubers doing that. I just want to keep my channel a little bit authentic, kind of to the point, show you a little bit of the other aspects of my life here and there, but not always. Um, and also, guys, oh my gosh, um, I have been consuming a lot of tilapia and chicken breast. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I do not want to say that I'm tired of tilapia and chicken breast, but I am kind of getting there. But you know, when you're competing, you really do, you really have to do what you're supposed to do. And of course, you can do the whole, you know, if it fits your macros and whatever, whatnot, but that is not going to work for me. I, you know, right now, I need to just kind of lock down and do what I'm supposed to do. So, with all of that said, this entire workout started off with some squats. Um, I decided to show you different clips of how I had my legs um, positioned and of course being the teacher that I am I recorded I wrote some notes for you guys in my little notebook I started off with a close stance um, when you put your legs close guys on the squat that really hits your outer quads or your quad sweep you're probably thinking oh you're not a bodybuilder but if you're trying to thicken up your legs and get bigger thighs the way you get bigger thighs is actually working that you have to put the work in and you have to eat and if you want to grow you have to eat in a surplus of course you can do that with a clean or lean diet but that is for a different video so close stance will get your outer quads your thighs very nicely shaped and rounded and ladies I know that's what you're going for and um, on my second clip uh, for my legs, and I'm looking at my notes, uh, my toes were turned out, and that's always, and that's also gonna hit your outer quads. So uh, it's just something to consider the next time you go in the gym, as opposed to doing the regular routine, because different angles, different ways of executing an exercise will always put your body on the stress in a good way and force your muscles to work in a different way which will ultimately cause you guys to see the kind of development that you have been hoping and wishing for.
quads, I went over to the leg extension machine. I usually do leg extensions towards the end of my workout, but today I kind of switched things up a little bit. The angle was not great. The angle of recording, as I said, my husband was not there, but please, you know, I hope you still appreciate it. I alternated, you know, I, I did isolation, so I alternated between right and left leg, and I really wasn't counting, I can remember, but I probably got between 8 and 15, to 15 reps. And then you will notice that I actually did more work on my left leg. Remember a long time ago, if you have been following me, I told you I have a little bit of imbalance in my left leg. That has been addressed, but because it has been addressed, that doesn't mean I stop. I'm cutting and that's the issue. I need to keep up with that routine. So that is why I did more work on my left leg. Of course, I'm gonna make sure the left leg does not become um, bigger than my right my right leg. So I'm doing that because of that imbalance. together that is also going to help with separation now that I'm cutting and getting ready for a show uh, they do want to see a little bit of separation in the upper thigh or leg and um, just alternating putting your heels together toes apart even your toes together and heels apart and then straight all of those variations will help with that separation that they're looking for but if you're not looking for separation of course still incorporate some leg extensions it's they're very very good um, for your, your quad sweep and just helping with the overall development of your upper leg. I did not take a break. I did not go do my shoulders and then leave my cardio for the end. I did my weight training and then I immediately went to cardio and there are benefits um, to that. I did 10 minutes of hits. So you'll see that I started off slow and then I increased the speed gradually. Then I was just playing around with the master for two reasons. I get really bored with cardio really fast. But when I was actually walking sideways on the Stairmaster, that was to engage my um, abductors a little bit more. And that always works for me. And of course, um, I started running and I posted that on Instagram and people were like, oh my gosh, you're such a beast. I was not trying to be a beast. I was just trying to, you know, push myself and do what I'm supposed to do at this point in time. I love it. I'll tell you, running on the Stairmaster at level 20 is not easy it's not easy and I can probably go a minute max if you're gonna try this please be careful I did hold on I had to at some point but um, it's such a good burn and it's, it gets your heart rate up but you're working if you if you actually do that variation you will be working <laughs>
master routine, I went to the um, my shoulder workout. So I did a lot of work, work on my shoulder. I love working shoulders. It's, and um, I did some uh, shoulder press. Um, I even incorporated a little bit of my Dells, but I did not record that because I just didn't feel like handling the camera. It was getting late and I wanted to come home and record this for you guys. So, um, what I did include though is something that I've never shared on my channel. I did some, um, I took the ball and I did some slams with the ball. If you want to see a tutorial or a little explanation video, demonstration type thing, let me know. But I did that as a form of hit cardio. And so I did um, like 25 at a time. Then I took a short break and then I went again more intense and I took a short break. <laughs> summarize my workouts I know I have new subscribers and I haven't really done a tutorial and since my knee issue and my whole accident and all that stuff I felt like I needed to come and talk to you about my leg routine so that's why I did that leave me a comment let me know what you think um, let me know what's new in your fitness world um, and if you want to see a demonstration a tutorial with that ball and you know, the slam, the ball, uh, let me know, you know, just, just leave me a comment. If you like the video, definitely thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. And remember, on Carob Spice, it's not about being perfect. It is about being the best you, the best version of yourself. All positive vibes. Bye, guys. Until next time.